Welcome to YALSA Academy, the Young Adult Library Services Association's professional development project that supports excellent services to young adults. Find more of our continuing education opportunities at www.ala.org slash YALSA. Thank you for coming in to see me, Mr. Young. I understand you have some concerns about your son bringing his own device to school. Yes, Mrs. Russo, I do. I'm not sure that Kyle is responsible enough to bring his own device to school. What if he forgets it? Students are more likely to remember to bring in a cell phone or iPad than their homework. Now, they will always have their homework with them. But Kyle is easily distracted. Won't this encourage him to be off task? Not necessarily. When students are given the opportunity to use handheld devices, they become more enthusiastic and tend to participate in more class discussions. They become excited to learn. It's also a privilege that can be taken away if it's abused. Okay, I see your point. But what about the student that doesn't have a device? What will they do? The school is prepared to have handhelds available to those students who do not own any. Of course, students share laptops and cell phones all the time. Students will be able to work in groups and all use the same device together. What are the benefits to doing this? Are there any besides cost? Of course there are. We live in a world where we can find information at our fingertips. Digital learning helps students find all the information they need immediately not hours later when they do their homework. That sounds great. Tell me more, please. It makes sense that students can use smartphones or laptops in school. We are allowing them to make choices and develop. When you go to college or work, you can decide what device you want to use to complete your task. Kyle will now have that opportunity every day. He can choose the device, the app, or the software. So many choices are now open to him. That sounds like a wonderful teaching environment. How does the staff feel about it? Of course there has to be more training and planning on the teacher's part. But this will also offer new teaching opportunities that were never there before. Think about 25 cell phones in the classroom all watching a YouTube video on cellular division. The possibilities are endless. And I'll bet once the students are engaged, they will be anxious to do more research on their own. That's exactly what happens. They will watch the video the teacher assigns, then find another one on their own. And if it's a better one, now the teacher has learned something too. Well I guess this BYOD thing makes more sense than I thought. I just figured it was one more way for Kyle to lose his cell phone. It's likely Kyle will be more careful with his cell phone now that he can use it in school. When it wasn't allowed, kids would hide them and then they would get lost. Now everything will be out in the open. Mrs. Russo, I want to thank you for taking the time to meet with me. I think the students will get so much more out of their school day using these little computers they all carry around. What a terrific opportunity. Thank you, Mr. Young. We need more open-minded parents like you to make our new ideas work. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out more of our videos at Yalsa Academy.